There's nothing new in the land of Koya. And now on to the news in Hallis. Currently, in the domain of the extravagant Lord Bodhi, there is a dinner party that will be uh, starting up soon. Which, if we know two things, dear viewers, one is everyone who is anyone will be attending, and something bemusing will, of course, take place. Also, this time of year, it is after the final selection of new recruits within one of the houses, specifically the Black Sheep, under leadership of N. Hallis. We have some of their names scrolling along the right side of the magic imager. I also heard that not all their recruits hail from within our borders. Hmm, more and more people are just infecting our cities, diminishing them. I think you are thinking about it all wrong. Their unique backgrounds and experiences can help us as much as we can show kindness and help them. Um, well, in other news, let's zoom in and catch Sir Hallis's commencement speech to all the initiates and recruits. Recruits, I stand before you today, a leader who has seen his fair share of setbacks, failures, and disappointments. I won't pretend that the road we have traveled thus far has been an easy one. I'm sure you have faced challenges that seemed insurmountable, and we have stumbled in the face of adversity. But I'm here to tell you that even in the darkest of times, there's a glimmer of hope, a spark of resilience that lies within each and every one of us. Life has a way of knocking us down when we least expect it. It can strip us of our confidence, drain us of our passion, and leave us feeling lost and broken. I know firsthand how it feels to be at the bottom, to stare defeat in the face and question if we have what it takes to rise again. But let me tell you something. We do. It is during these moments when we are down on our luck that we truly discover who we are and what we are capable of. It is easy to lead when everything is going smoothly, when success seems to be handed to us on a silver platter, but true leadership is forged in the fires of adversity. It is in these moments that our character is tested and our determination shines through. We may have stumbled, we may have fallen, but that does not define us. It is how we rise, how we gather our strength and courage that sets us apart. Each setback we have faced has been an opportunity for growth, a chance to learn, a stepping stone towards our ultimate goal. Remember, my friends, that failure is not the end. It is merely a stepping stone on the path to greatness. Each failure brings us closer to our goals, teaches us valuable lessons, and prepares us for victories that await us. It is in these moments of adversity that we have the power to redefine ourselves, to rise above our circumstances and inspire others to do the same. So let us embrace our failures, our setbacks, and our disappointments. Let us wear them as badges of honor, as reminders of our resilience and determination. Together, we will overcome the obstacles that stand in our way. Together, we will rise above the ashes and achieve greatness. Together, believe in yourself, my fellow black sheep. Believe in the power that lies within you. And remember, it is not the absence of failure that defines us, but our ability to rise again, stronger and more determined than ever before. Today, we take our first steps towards a brighter future. Let us seize this moment, and with unwavering courage and determination, let us create a legacy that will inspire generations to come. Thank you. Weak. Honest. Uh, well, well, let's see how these new recruits will forge ahead, regardless of what our views may be, and what things they will accomplish or fail to accomplish with that. Um, we are signing off. And remember, dear viewers, this is Nyan Odata reminding you to tune in.
and we'll see you next time, dear viewers. And I, Brad P. Featherfoot, reminding you to stay vigilant. And Zorg here saying, uh, stay woke.